Hey everybody, welcome to the Traveling Pin Show. This is Alan. I'm here with my doggy Saba. Come on up, Saba. Say hi. There she is. <laughs> She's a good dog. Looking to bark at everybody out the window right now. I love you. Sorry we've been gone uh, all summer. Um, got a little bit busy and I got a little bit lazy as well. <laughs> so didn't get a chance to uh, do much in the way of uh, vlogging. But uh, I thought I'd catch up. This is kind of an intro to a vlog I made while I was at home. I went ahead and uh, did a uh, multiple unboxing. From I was out from the, about the third week of July to uh, just this past weekend. So uh, yeah, I had a few boxes to get through, uh, including uh, the uh, video setup that I'm using now. I, I do have a um, a uh, GoPro that I'm trying to learn and we'll see what happens but uh, it's gonna take some uh, getting used to but uh, I'm, I'm up for the challenge and I'm hoping to put out more content uh, hopefully on a weekly basis that's my goal but uh, we'll see um, but uh, I do enjoy it I have enjoyed the encouragement uh, and support uh, from some of you and I really do appreciate that as well so I'm hoping that we can uh, continue and uh, you know, you guys can kind of follow my pen journey. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the review's coming up. Uh, you'll get to see that. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a little stinger, uh, little stinger preface here. I do plan on doing some reviews. Uh, so uh, maybe, I'm hoping that that'll be the uh, next vlog that you see. Uh, I might even separate that and make those review, reviews separate of the vlog. I don't know we'll see um, it's not gonna be a separate channel just just notarized differently but um, anyway I'm, I'm excited uh, I want to start getting things going get a little bit more serious about doing this and being a little bit more regular about it and uh, we'll see what's what anyway I hope you enjoy the unboxing and uh, that'll be here in a couple seconds now here's the intro Hello folks, welcome to my unboxing. This is the Traveling Pen Show. I am Alan and I'm behind the camera right now. I'm in my new setup. Uh, I'm here at home right now, but uh, eventually we'll be getting this set up into the truck. Uh, just wanted to uh, do some unboxing of some items I got. So let's uh, start and uh, see how this goes. But uh, first, this, and I've already opened it, but I'm going to pretend <laughs> that I haven't oh look at that oh he's opening it for the first time wow okay uh, <laughs> this particular package was open just to it was one of the weirder things that I had so I wanted to check it out first but this is a Lamy product as you can see uh, it is um, a rollerball, if I'm not mistaken. In fact, I know I'm not mistaken. A rollerball. Here's the information. And here's the pen. And I haven't opened, uh, even though I have opened the package, I haven't opened the pen. So it hasn't even been out. This is the first time my hands are touching it right now as we speak. And let's see how this thing looks. There you go, as you can see, like I said, it is definitely a roller ball. Put it down, get the nice Macrolon finish on it. Um, the reason that I have this roller ball is because out on the road, I finally made my first pen mistake and lost my roller ball somewhere in Springfield, Missouri. So uh, I'm hoping that it ended up in good hands and someone's actually using it. But I couldn't let that slide because I own way too many of those um, rollerball cartridges. And so we're going to be keeping that. Let me move this out of the way. And we'll go on to the next box. And this one happens to be from Gold Spot. To be honest, I don't even remember what I got from Gold Spot, but I think... 
there are some more Lamy products in here. So we'll find out in a second. Oh, I am definitely having my issues. And if I do this wrong, we're just going to have to suffer through it together. So, you've been warned. There we go. Oh. There we are. That's becoming a little easier. Try to cut away from yourself like an intelligent human being. <laughs> there we go. Now let's see if this opens this way. I am not trying to be nice. We're just going to open this puppy up and see what's what. Okay, I think this is my first purchase from Gold Spot. Uh, as a matter of fact, I know it is. Take it off camera for just a second. Lay this down. There you go. There we go. And there we go. Okay. Now let's start with this one. Got another Lamy product. Let's find out what it is. Ooh, another Lamy 2000. This one, though, happens to be the pencil. So, and if I'm not mistaken, it is a 0.7. I know that this comes off. I don't remember how, though. <laughs> Uh, I've watched some videos on it, and I'm just not going to mess with it right now. But, yeah, so we've got a Lamy Rollerball and a pencil to go along with my Lamy uh, fountain pens. And along with that, I also bought the some of the lead, and there's some of the erasers that are there as well. So that will go right there. Get this out of the way. Uh, let's see if there's anything else under here. Yeah, some warranty and the design thing. Oh, look at that. Instructions. Maybe I want to look at that. that uh, especially with regard to the pencil. But uh, we'll put that down here. Okay. Let's see. Our next product right there. Pilot Custom 912, and it is a stub. Ooh, yeah, she's pretty. Yep, I started at first. I've owned, I own one other stub, and it is a uh, a. Uh, it's on my Twisby. I bought a Twisby, and it's um, got a. It's got a one point one millimeter stub on it so use and care guide the regular namiki pilot care guide and we've got a cartridge there which we probably will not use um and uh at first i wasn't digging on a stub but to be honest man i started using it again very recently and i fell in love with how my writing was looking so i thought maybe we check out a smaller 1.0 stub on the Pilot Custom 912 here. And there you go. There's the the nib. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it to autofocus, but yeah. You can see that stub on there. I can't wait to get riding with that. Yep. SU, I do know that stands for Sutab, <laughs> which I guess is stub in Japanese. Let's put this over here. We'll line them up. And now, for the founder of the feast, Relay Pens. It's where I got my start with all this stuff. My first video actually was an unboxing of Goulet stuff so coming full circle on this one put that down there uh, there we go 
packed with a ridiculous amount of care, I'm sure. Oh yeah, I forgot I got those. Look at that. These are pipettes. So I wanted to saw a few of those and I'm not sure how much, I can't remember what the uh, capacity is, but it's pretty high. Um, but I thought that would be fun to try to use. I got more than a lifetime's worth here, but they were pretty inexpensive. So we went with it. Got me some more Goulet Pen Flush. I know you can make it, but I'm lazy. And here, don't want to. They didn't leave me out. Got my Tootsie Roll Pop. And let's see what my sticker is. Oh, I lost my brass sheets, so I got new brass sheets. Let's see who packed it. Randall, thanks, man. Oh, Ellie Goulet. <laughs> so cute. Okay, let's put that over there. All right. And I don't know if you saw this package, but there we go. It is a Tasha pen. I saw um, Dave over there at Fug Boot on pins talking about this particular brand. So I checked it out. Goulet had it. And I picked up my first. My first. This is actually my first sailor-ish type pen. That's, man, that's pretty. It feels good too. Let's look at that nib this is a right there we'll get it in there if I'm not mistaken this one no 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 wait a minute yeah this is supposed to be a music nib if I'm not mistaken but maybe it's not I don't know I'm not sure if that's what I got I only see two tines, so maybe I did not get a music name. I don't remember, but, ooh, it's got a little bit of a spring in the twist there. We'll put that over there. It comes with a Sailor ink converter. We got two cartridges down in here. That's pretty cool. But yeah, apparently Tasha does uh, use Sailor innards. So basically it's like buying a Sailor pen. Speaking of Sailor pens though, this is the one. I got this from um, a hop drop with uh, endless pens. And uh, I just couldn't pass it up. So this one was, uh, well, like the other pens, was waiting for me when I got home. Um, now I have taken this out of the packaging that it was in, opened it just to look at it, but I have not put my hands on the other side of the plastic yet. So we're going to do that right now. There you go, Sailor. And on the inside, there she is. This is the Sailor Pro Gear, King of Pens. So excited to get this. And now I'm so excited to open it. There we go. Oh, <laughs> let's open that up and see that Sailor nib. Oh, yeah. She's a beaut. And I imagine that the Tasha over there has the same converter. But there it is. All right. Now, obviously, in the next few weeks, my plan is to do some reviews. Um, probably on the pens that I currently own. Some of these will also uh, creep in there, I'm sure. But... We'll give it some time and see how we like each one. Man, I'm really digging on that Tasha's finish. But, uh... <laughs> oh. 
definitely a grail definitely a grail pen oh I'm so excited about that one I can't tell you <laughs> can't wait to ink this bad boy up Go, go, go. 